Okay, so here's an update video for our uh, Jeep Grand Wagoneer Resto mod. Um, we converted it to fuel injection, uh, serpentine belt drive. Let me get, try to get that. So we still have to get all this stuff lined up, but what I like to do is go with all new, we went all new wiring, uh, fuel injection, HEI distributor um, to do away with the complicated external spark control um, fuel injection system requires the temp sensors so we have a, an air gap intake manifold for a little bit more performance this thing isn't going to be crazy fast but it'll run super smooth so what we're doing now is going with um, uh, get it running and driving and then we'll start wrapping all of the wires right now we can see all our wires so uh, painted the engine bay. We put in a uh, fuel command center. That what that does is it brings up low pressure from the tank, and then sends high pressure out to the FI Tech throttle body. The reason why we placed it here is because when the engine bay gets really really hot, the fuel is actually going through the fender well and inside here is keeping it keeping it cool so let me get my flashlight and we can go underneath here and see there's the bottom of it and we still have a good 12 inches of clearance uh, and since it is going to be in the back side of the back side of the wheel it's not going to take any kind of debris so uh, we have a fuel filter mounted on the firewall um, you can see we painted, if you see the reflection, painted the engine bay. It's a little dusty right now. New vacuum controls, because we're running a lot of stock on this, so we're taking the best of what was factory and changing and keeping it and then getting rid of what was garbage, which was the ignition system that would stall out and let you down, the carburetor that would uh, act up and uh, very sensitive. And then also you see the custom battery box, which yet yeah, used to be the heat uh, the heat HVAC I'm a little mumble mouth because it's late tonight so that used to be the heater control box we did all did away with all that and that's going on the inside and then we took what what used to be the battery tray and we put the uh, washer reservoir here and the washer reservoir used to be over here where the command center is and then we're still and also we're going to integrate the cruise control with the fuel injection system lots of wiring lots of smarty pants things so let's go inside you know making the video oh and then uh, it's up on the race ramps and what we did is we dropped the fuel tank and we have a lift pump in there that actually supplies fuel to the fuel command center and so in here just laying in here we have all our new carpet and then you can see also we have all of the insulation up here which is nuts I mean, it's really sound deadening and it's going to be a great add to the temperature and so if you're familiar with these Jeeps you'll also notice that we did away with the lower AC box and then we're going to have our AC in the middle with a center console uh, of course the steering wheel is going to get rewrapped I'm really kind of thinking about a new modern Jeep steering wheel uh, out ring keeping the same center I'll show the seats in a minute but right here we can see um, our wiring is just kind of on this board and then we have it all labeled pretty simple for any kind of failure some any mechanic can come in here and see uh, we still have our AC compressor we still have other wiring and then here we see our go EFI control box and so when you turn that on you'll have all of your command stuff here which is really neat so you can go through all of your uh, different engine RPMs and we'll go ahead and start it right now and we can see that thing wake up and start working this will be in the center console and then you'll be able to go to the back button see the dashboard go to your gauges data logging um, there's a whole lot of stuff in here for any kind of problem so we'll go back to the dashboard and we got it running but we still have exhaust work to do so let's see it go So 
you'll see we have uh, two open exhaust ports from the old emission system and then also our exhaust is only set up to go from the headers back to the muffler and we don't have a muffler back yet but just listening to it it's idling great it's cold we just started it this is the first start or actually that's the third start before I made the video so in the back we're running a uh, rear AC you can see back there so that's the rear AC unit let me go back here and we'll look at that here's the dash AC this is going underneath the uh, passenger side behind the dashboard and then here's our rear AC unit that's mounted up in there uh, and then we're getting our brackets in a mock-up mode and then we'll paint them and and take care of that so that's the update let me go in the office and we'll look at the seats. The seats are done and you'll notice that they're bolstered uh, like the new Jeep seats. Hold on. All right, so here you can see our new seats. Uh, right off the bat, you'll notice that we use the factory materials um, for the uh, center corduroy section. You'll see that. And then we have uh, a modern leather it's a really soft leather um, you won't be able to tell in the pictures well maybe um, and then of course this was done so you'll notice quickly if you're familiar with these vehicles the seats are bolstered so we added foam here and then added this stitch line and then we bolstered up the bottom you can see this how it comes up okay so those seats used to be uh, crowned and you know really cushy um, also this is the passenger seat so we did uh, we kept with the same carpet we put new carpet on the back seat so whenever it lays down it'll fold back to the chrome rails and then of course we could not bolster the back uh, as much because it does have to lay down if we did add foam here and here to bolster it up and have kind of a semi uh, four bucket setup uh, the seat wouldn't fold and function so we did add this stitch line another thing you can see we added uh, you know um, modern we put new carpet and kept like I said keeping the best of the old and adding the new stuff so on the backs of these seats if you're familiar with them they were carpet just like this one all straight down so we are going to have a center console uh, the, a dedicated center console with a um, it's going to mimic more like uh, the new SUVs, the Cadillacs, the Fords, cup holders, all that. It didn't have that before. And then also, because we do have rear air, remember, we're going to have the rear climate controls. And then also we're adding um, a, van, a, vent, a vent system inside the center console that blows to the back seat. And then the back seat's going to have power ports and rear fan and rear H HVAC controls so one thing that you're gonna have a little clue is the back seats I told you had carpet but no here we added seat pockets so when you get in the back of this the goal is to, for you to think you're in a new Land Rover or something because you have seat pocket you have seat pockets are padded um, and then back here you're gonna have your center console and all of that so I'm pretty excited uh, just to get it running is a big step that's going to be the main fabrication of the engine bay and all that and then we still have the updated uh, suspension steering system we're going to put in there uh, to tighten it up uh, steering dampener still keeping the solid axle front end uh, so we're going to put in a, uh, a tighter ratio steering box for the power steering controls and then of course wheels and tires upgrade um, the brakes are really good so we're going to keep those uh, it's too much to list really so this is what we get so far